land deals worth Rs 300 crore spice of Ahmedabad Realty. Two land parcels worth over Rs 315 crore have recently changed hands signaling a turnaround in Realty business. In separate transactions, Hitch and & Suffolk and Goyle & Company has sealed a deal for 27,000 square yard plot in Shellon on SP Ring Road, while city-based Soham Group has fetched 11,500 square yard land near Vaishno Devi Circle. Prestige looks to acquire malls Realty developer Prestige Estates Projects is looking to acquire malls across major cities to expand its rental income base. The company is in talks to buy out malls in Pune and Mumbai. By 2020, the group will have 13 malls totaling 7.5 million square feet of leasable retail space across seven cities. Turkey rules property sales, rental agreements must be in Lira. Property sales, rental contracts and leasing transactions must be made in Lira, halting the use of foreign currencies for such deals in a fresh step to support the ailing local currency. However, economists and industry participants doubted the move would have a permanent positive impact. They said it could hamper predictability and might bring additional burdens for firms with foreign currency debt. Umang Realtek delays Winter Hill by three years keeps 700 buyers waiting. A dream home is still a distant dream for around 700 home buyers who have invested their hard-earned money in Winter Hill project coming up in Sector 77 Dwarka. The developer Umang Realtek had promised delivery by 2015 but so far only 70% work has been completed on the ground. Logistics companies eyeing joint ventures to tap into warehousing demand. Large institutional and logistic developers are betting big on the growing demand for warehousing in India, either by forming joint ventures with local partners or by investing in the sector. Recent examples are GMR Infrastructure holding discussions with Warburg Pinkers-backed logistic developer E. Shang Redwood to form a joint venture.